Qualcomm is the leader in mobile technology. And what people mostly know us for is for mobile devices and mobile phones, including tablets and smartphones, and many of our technology in that. So really we're the creators and the innovators around 3G and 4G and LTE connectivity, and some chipsets into the world's best phones, processing chips. And so really our interest for Formula E is around, I think, the spirit of innovation and that spirit of mobile technology and where it's going. One of the technologies that we have behind us is the wireless charging, which is really going to, I think, um, revolutionise uh, electric vehicles. Uh, it means that you no longer have to plug the car in to charge it up, you just merely park uh, and the car charges automatically. So the technology works by magnetic induction, so we have a pad on the ground and a pad on the car and we create a magnetic field and when the car goes into the uh, magnetic field, um, we transfer electricity that way through, through that field. And looking to the future of Formula E, there's also the possibility of a, a racing line and a charging line, I believe. Yeah, so it's possible to do wireless charging whilst the car moves as well. And so that gives us some quite unique uh, ability to add some excitement to the uh, race by having a, a charging line uh, down a back straight um, where the, the driver has to make a decision whether he goes onto the charging line or whether he sticks to the racing line. And, uh, and I think that'll add some colour and excitement to the race. So we've got a real um, benefit here with uh, Formula E in, in the guise of a legacy program. And the idea being that uh, when the race moves on from city to city, the charging technology is left behind. And that means the city uses uh, car share, taxis, uh, and just general public can use the charging system to charge up their own vehicles. So people should be excited when Formula E comes to their town.